So tell us, Jazzy Jazz, <laughs> how did you get to 119,000 subscribers? And have you been on for a long time, YouTube? No. Sorry, what is, what is, is she a monster? How did she do this? Hey beautiful, Vina V here from YT Club helping you to become more confident and creative on YouTube and something happened this week. Hold on, I should have been better prepared for that. This happened. actually went to YouTube HQ in London. I did a two day intensive boot camp learning how I can grow my own channel. I met some amazing YouTubers. I learned so much and I just, it was just a real buzz. Like I'm still buzzing from last week. It was amazing. I also feel a bit sad. You know when you're like with a group of people and you all get on, everyone's laughing and then the next day you wake up and you're like, oh, I can't do that today. It's like back to reality. But um, thank you so much, YouTube. I had so much fun. A massive shout out to these incredible YouTubers, Jazzy Bum, uh, Philip Green, Time with Natalie, Brummy Mummy of Two, Cola Bling, It's Mandy. Uh, yeah, I just met so many people. And all those names I just mentioned, they are all in the video coming up. And some of those guys like Jazzy Bum, AKA Jasmine, She's got like 120,000 subscribers right now. So coming up for you in this video, I have got some top tips from the YouTubers I met at YouTube HQ in London. I can't wait for you to watch this video. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do because every Thursday I'm here on YouTube helping you basically to grow your own YouTube channel to help you get started, to motivate you. So please make sure you subscribe. Uh, the link is below, it's red can't miss it. So thanks so much for watching. Let's get straight into this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you learn a lot. Right now I'm here with Natalie and I'm just going to go around a few people and I want you to give everyone your YouTube tips. If someone was starting a YouTube channel yes. right now in 2016, yeah. what would be your biggest advice for them? Number one advice I think will be, and especially something that I need to do more of, is consistency. You have oh, yeah. to post at least once a week because people, it's like TV, you know, you know when EastEnders is on, um, so you know when to sit down and watch it. YouTube is the same. Your followers need to know when um, when you're going to be uploading a video. So number one tip for me would be consistency. Yeah, I struggle with consistency a lot, but what advice can we give to people? <laughs> how how be can we be consistent? Scheduling. I think it's down to what you schedule. You, you have to schedule it and also um, you need to block time as yeah. well. You know, so block instead of just, instead of just filming one video um, in a you know, at a time, I would do try and do two or three videos. That is a good and idea. It, do a block and what do they call it? Batching. Yes. Batching. Yeah. Yeah. Move on over here. Na, 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 na. Ah. Right now we are with Emma. This Hello. I should can you hold this when I get my tripod now. Oh look we're, we're gonna come to you in a minute. So I'm um, um, to Emma, say who you are. Hello, I'm Emma and I am Bobby Mummy of Two, a blogger and a YouTuber. So Emma is from a channel called Br Brummy. Oh no, I'm taking your face my face. Do something that you love. Don't care so much about subscribers. Just that is make videos one. that are nice. So yeah, don't, it's not all about subscribers. It's about you know think about being happy. I'd say be relatable. Yeah. Be one hundred percent yourself. And um, yeah, just be relatable. That's the best thing that I can say. How and can record stuff that you want to record. 
Yes. It's always that rule of if you can't watch your own video, yeah. then no one else is going to watch it. That's it. And everyone always says, be yourself. How can someone be themselves? I know it's a really weird question. Basically, find out what makes you smile and what makes other people smile. Oh, she's so pretty. How many, how many subscribers do you have? 119,000. So tell us, Jazzy Jazz. <laughs> How did you get to 119,000 subscribers? And have you been on for a long time, YouTube? No. Sorry? But is, but is, is she a monster? How did she do this? <laughs> no, I, I was at uni for one year doing it, so I uploaded like now and again. And so I only really started September just gone. Okay, I'm actually going to cry now. It's taken it's taken me about a year, more than a year to get a thousand. So okay, I didn't realise she had this much subscribers. Are you consistently posting now? Consistency is key. When I was in uni and I would post every like three weeks or so, okay. it was growing so slow. Yes. Now I try at least two videos a week. See that's what I consider. So you've got to like, they say consistency is key, and when they first said that, I didn't really believe them. Yeah. But it is key. Is there any other little things you're doing though? I mean, are you always sharing your videos on Twitter? Are you always... I don't know, are you just Twitter, engaging? My Twitter following is small, as is my Instagram following. It's mainly YouTube. So. She's just giving us nothing here. <laughs> it's just do things that are because I think are trending. Okay. So if it's summer, do a summer lookbook, a summer DIY, a summer. Just get that word summer in there. Okay. <laughs> so are you doing a lot of like SEO stuff? So, so okay. Just, just <laughs> I don't know. So how how do we get this one video to go See, viral? No, 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 no. You can't that's make things. How do you make it happen? You can't it's make things viral. The draw. You can't make things viral. I'm around bigger YouTubers here. So this is just my observation, I'm tiny. But, when, but when you have that viral video, it's obviously good to already have a foundation. So Not necessarily. But, uh, no, no, but decent, decent quality videos that they're happy yeah. to subscribe for. Uh, we have a different opinion over here. I think it's like the draw. I really do with videos, and like especially that kind of thing. Like afterwards, once you've got the big hit, be consistent, make loads of content, don't stop because otherwise it's pointless. Well, I watched one of um, Mandy's videos yesterday, and I just loved it because of your honesty. Thank you. Um, but it also made me feel sad. Yeah. It's Let's talk happy about videos. the truth, because we. Well, I'm here going. Oh yes. What are your tips for YouTube? Everyone can be. Why has everyone gone quiet? <laughs> um, um, what, you know, what, what is everyone's tips for YouTube? But I don't think we've actually talked about the truth about YouTube. Um, like, what is the truth? Well, with me, I stopped creating. Um, I. I don't want to say it's becoming a trend, but a lot of people are doing depression videos, like I'm really depressed. And then people had twigged on that this is something I had been talking about before. I kept asking me questions, it's like, I want to talk about it, I'm not going to talk about it. And that kind of like, no, like, why? I was like, because if I don't know what I'm talking about and giving you advice, that's harmful. I think it's a really yeah. bad thing to do, personally, mm. not jumping on anyone. Yeah. That's just, I guess. This is not a dig at other YouTubers. <laughs> the other thing was there's um, a really fun trend of people ripping off other people's content right now. But it's really hard as a creator because there's nothing we can actually Yeah, do. It, I don't mind it if someone's inspired and goes out and creates something really similar and backlinks. Yeah. Like even the description says this person's like, because I do that all the yeah. time. I like like Mandy inspired stuff. this video. I think YouTube was a lot easier back in 2009. Yeah. Yeah. That there was less people on it. Yeah, and now it's like everyone is a YouTuber. People got famous on YouTube and now everyone wants to be a YouTuber. Yeah, but that's why I'm on Periscope now. <laughs> I'm joking. No one actually found that funny. So. Um, so let's round this up. So Mandy, what would be though your top tip for anyone starting a YouTube channel in 2016? Don't expect, don't go out for fame. Yeah. Don't Honestly. expect anything. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't expect do a single thing. Yeah. Because if you get your yeah. hopes up, even if you say to yourself, oh I want to get 10 views, if you get 8 views you will be so upset. Whereas if you just say, I don't expect anything and you get 8 views, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> 8 people have watched my video like yeah. that's people just like, don't expect anything people like watching someone that's making something for the love of making it yeah. as well and if they can tell you being fake they'll twig on and then the larger your audience is and they can tell you stopped enjoying it the more you hate you're gonna get on the top uh, thanks
finished the YouTube boot camp. Yeah, but we still get to know each other. We have to like, like as women step up because it's all about intersectionality. Do you understand? We're like women. No, we it's know true. how to rock actually, business. Yeah. Four billion is made from women in business who are mothers. This that is right true. Here. Uh, uh. Always love you. Is yeah. anybody listening to, to me? Brazil for a holiday. <laughs> um, let's, let's have some last words. Oh, I'm so shy. <laughs> a massive thank you again to all those YouTubers that appeared in this video. As you could see, we had a lot of fun. I, I just really had a great two days. Thank you again to YouTube. If you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. I'm here once a week, usually every Thursday, giving you tips on how you can grow your own YouTube channel. And <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm also currently obsessed with Periscope. So make sure you go and search for me on Periscope and we can take this conversation even further. I am literally live on Periscope once a day or more. Thank you so much for watching and if you're looking for a tripod to film your very own videos, let me show you mine. Hold on one second. So this whole video that you've been watching, this is what I've been filming it on my very own tripod. This is the YT Club tripod. If you haven't got it already, make sure you do. A card will pop up on the screen right now or the link will be uh, below that this video. So there we go. That is my YouTube setup. Uh, it's very simple, isn't it? But it just proves to you that you can do it. If you're a bit scared and if you're thinking, oh, I really want to make a YouTube video, but I, I need to save up for a DSLR, you don't. I filmed this whole video that you're you're watching right now on my iPhone and on my tripod which costs £19.99 and p with free postage and packaging. That is it. I will see you again next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.